Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel today I thought it would be really fun to just literally take you guys along with me for the entire day So I have a couple things that I need to do but I do get a lot of questions like what do you do like when you're not filming like what's going on like how like what does your job entail especially my family has no clue they just don't understand at all and so i thought i would take you guys along with me i thought it would be really fun i have a couple errands that i need to run today i have a couple emails because i'm in between managements right now and that's super confusing and i'll talk about like having a management as a youtuber and all of that stuff and do you need it xyz all of that kind of stuff i will give you all of the little secrets don't you worry about that at all but if you guys are new to this channel and this is the first time you're seeing me make sure to go ahead and hit this little subscribe button right here. We are hitting 200,000 subscribers this year. Non-negotiable, it is happening. We sat at like 140,000 subscribers pretty much all last year. So this year, the goal is 200,000 subscribers and I think it's totally doable. I think we'll be able to do it, but if you guys can just take a look, see if you're subscribed, hit the little button if you're not, that would help me out so, so, so much. And if you guys want to help me out with the YouTube algorithm by giving this a big thumbs up, I would also appreciate that very much. So right now it is 12.30. I'm getting a little bit of a late start because, I mean, that is the, the perks of having your own job, right? You can create your own schedule. If you sleep in, it's not a big deal because your boss isn't gonna be mad at you because you are your own boss. And so that is very nice. Since the new year, I have been starting every single day with a devotional. And so I use New Morning, what is it? New Morning Mercies. This is the devotional that I have. So cute. It's also the same one that I think Jess Conti uses and Kristen Johns. They all use this book right here. I love it. And so you just read one little page like this. It gives you a little passage in the Bible. And then I usually take a note and be like, okay, summarize this in one sentence. And then I write it at the very bottom. So that's what I've been doing. And that is how I'm going to start my day. I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. Right here is my workspace. I spend so, so much time just right in this little area right here. So right now I'm gonna spend some time writing out some emails. This, I would say emails is actually like a pretty big chunk of my job. <laughs> I don't think people realize it, but right now I'm going through a manager change, which has been very, interesting. I literally want to do an entire video just talking about all of my terrible manager situations. I have had a lot of them and for the last year I've been with an agency that in the moment they were incredible and they made me a lot of money and they helped me with my first national booking which is incredible and all of this stuff and then the biggest thing was like turnover was really 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 high and so like I had one person and then they fired him and then I got another person and they fired her and then they got another person and she quit and then another person they fired her and it was like I was like oh Oh my gosh, I think I went through like eight managers. It was crazy. And then like in September, when they finally switched me over to like my eighth manager, all of a sudden all of my money just stopped. Like I was getting no sponsorships, I was getting no deals. The email communication was like three days delayed. It was just all of this stuff. And so I let them know recently that I'm gonna leave because I haven't made any money since like September or something. It was crazy. It was literally like I was making like good amount of money to live because you also have to think like YouTubers need to live. And most of the money, which I do get this question pretty often so AdSense doesn't really pay very much at all I think right now I get like $500 a month from AdSense I think even David Dobrik gets $500 a month from AdSense like it's literally nothing at all and so yeah you definitely can't rely on AdSense you need to be relying on sponsorships and I think that's why having a manager is so important or having an agent is so important so that you can actually get these deals right so everything was fine and I was getting these deals but then something happened when I switched over to like my eighth manager I I'm, I mean it might be six or something it might be seven after I switched over like all of a sudden it was like September zero dollars October zero dollars November zero dollars December zero dollars and I was like what is happening like that is not normal so I let them know that I was leaving found a new manager and so I just kind of need to like get everything all figured out and in the meantime between the managers I've also been finding my own brand deals just making sure there's like a whole another legal aspect to it sorry if this is bo like boring you guys if any brand deals launch within my contract that other management needs to take a cut of it which is even if I find the deal which is just so crazy. I really do want to make a whole video. I would strongly recommend you guys do not get into an exclusive contract with literally anyone because even if it starts off amazing, it can end very poorly. Like I said, I've made no money the last four months. And I mean, I have made money, but like 
it's like from AdSense, which is nothing. So with all of these emails, I have to make sure that the launch date is after January 29th. And so I've been doing some of my own deals because I also can't start with my new management until after January 29th. So the whole thing is just so crazy, but that kind of just comes with the life of a YouTuber. You also really need to make sure that you are spending your money wisely. These people who just spend and spend and spend, like you need to realize that like your income is not steady by any means. Like you could be making like 20 grand one month and then you can make zero the next. It is so unsteady. It is absolutely insane. I'm not saying I make 20 grand a month. I'm just saying YouTubers pay is like all over the place. And so I actually just started doing a Dave Ramsey course, which I think I'm gonna do later today. Dave Ramsey is a Christian. He is this super incredible teacher dude who has this thing called Financial Peace University. I know Jess and Gabe Conti have went through their courses. A lot of Christians go through his course and it just teaches you how to, I guess like just like use your money wisely. And he talks about like how much of your paycheck should be going to saving for your retirement and how to make sure that you're budgeting your money well and like all this stuff. And he just really teaches you about everything. He teaches you about stocks, bonds, all that stuff. I am being so boring right now. So Courtney's gonna shut up and I'm gonna fill out some emails. Honestly, sometimes I get so frustrated when I'm sending emails just because you get brands that lowball you. It's like a game. Like negotiating a price for sponsorships is a big game. That's exactly what it is. And so like, for example, an email that I'm dealing with, especially guys like those fast fashion companies. Oh my gosh. They know that people will do sponsorships with them without paying them. And so they really do a great job at being like, hey, we'll give you $200. And I'm like, no. And it's like the most frustrating thing. And eventually, you keep going at them they'll be able to pay your rate but it is so frustrating to go like back and forth and back and forth and back and forth some people do like this negotiating thing where they'll like highball they'll like they'll be like oh yeah i charge like five thousand dollars for x y and z and they do this thing and i have actually found because i used to work i guess i never really told you guys this so when i got out of college i used to work at rue 21 corporate and i did that for a little bit and then i switched over to a marketing firm like a really small marketing firm that worked with more of like healthcare and things like that but when i worked at Route 21, I was in the social media department of the company and I dealt with the YouTube collaboration. So I was actually behind the scenes on the other side of the computer, which is so cool to be able to like have that knowledge. And I remember like, I wanted to work with, oh, I wanna say names. Oh, you know what I am. I'm gonna say names, but I'm not gonna say rates. I wanted to work with Janine Amapola because I love Janine Amapola so much. I think she's the coolest person in the entire world. She's like a Christian influencer that talks about like fitness and health and like all of this stuff. I love her so much. And so I really wanted Route 21 to work with her. Her manager sends me the highest rate ever. I think we wanted to pay like 7k. Her manager came at us with like something that was like 10 times the amount of that and we were like okay and we never even responded to the email because we were like there is no there's no matching this so i always send realistic rates and then i do little negotiation whereas some people will be like hey my rate's like five thousand dollars for x y and z and then you eventually negotiate down and then you end up making like 3k or whatever it is so i don't know if this made any sense i'm just like trying to give you guys as much information as i can but i feel like i'm just like kind of rambling at this point Okay, so for right now, at this very moment, I'm pretty much done with emails. I do need to contact my new manager and send her all of my statistics, brands that I've worked with. It is so important for you guys to be organized. If you guys ever wanna do YouTube, it is so crucial. So I will give you guys a little sneak peek as to what my calendars look like. So this right here is a good example of a content calendar that I have. It just says like the month and then it'll say like, these are the videos that I wanna do. I wanna do one fashion, one food, one Starbucks, one vlog, and one fun video. And then I basically color code them. So if it's this gold, it means it's completely done. If it's a gray, it's a video idea. Um, and then if it's green, it means I filmed it and I'm waiting for Lucas to edit it. And you can see my one for December was so crazy. I had so many video ideas. And so this one right here is my deal tracker. And so it'll be like, okay, this is my goal for this month. And then it'll say the brands, the rate. So I like to split it up and be like, okay, I want X amount for taxes. I want this much for that. Or I'll be like, okay, this
this much goes to my manager, this much doesn't. And then it also has like the content that it's supposed to go live, the date paid, notes, all of that stuff. And then down here, I would plug in the sponsorships. So the deal tracker in itself is solely sponsorship. The calendar that I showed you before, that is like my overall, all of my video ideas. I literally just dump my video ideas into there and I just start brainstorming. And then it just kind of keeps me organized. And then in about two hours, I have a video going live. Um, I'm gonna do a premiere and it's called Trying Amazon Prom Dresses. Huge success in like little asterisks. But that is like one of my favorite parts is going on to the premieres with you guys and just being able to talk to you guys live so if you guys don't have your post notifications turned on make sure to do so because then you guys can be in the live with me chatting and it's so much fun I love like giving you guys shout outs and I love like being like spam the chat and it just it's so much fun I was just about to head out the door because I need to go to Buffalo Exchange because you guys always ask like where do all of these clothes go and honestly they usually go into a storage bin that goes up to the attic I already took them to Plato's closet and then anything that Plato's closet didn't take I'm gonna go take it to Buffalo Exchange and then after that I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I'll probably like ask my roommates if they want it or I will just like go and like take it to Goodwill. But I just got another package of clothes which makes me so happy. Um, this is from Fabletics. I wish they were sponsoring today's video but they are not. I really wanna open them up because basically I had their VIP membership program. Wow, this is gonna sound like such an ad, it's not. But I had their VIP membership program. I don't know, it like just recently changed. It was that they take $50 out of your bank account every single month and so then you have $50 to spend. And so like you could totally spend something on a bundle that was like way higher which was like $120 and you would just use like that credit that you have and then you would have like let's say you had $150 in credit you bought something that was $120 you'd have $30 left in your account but that now they like move to some like you'd get like one credit and that goes towards like a select amount of items I don't know I just recently canceled my membership and just like finished it all off just because I don't know like I think it confuses me like the most recent update I just think it's really confusing so this is everything that I got. So we're gonna open these up. I'm not gonna try them on right now, but I did wanna show them to you guys. So I got this. So I got these beige leggings. I love Fabletics. I think that is a dream sponsorship for me that I will probably never get, but I love these. And then I went ahead and I got the beige t-shirt to match it and it's just like an oversized tee which i love i also don't have a lot of clothes that i feel like i can wear to the gym like top wise like i have like really cute like leggings and sport bras that match but then i never have like a top to wear with it so i got that outfit and then dude i don't even remember what else i got next piece we just got a pink cami and it is padded which is awesome oh okay i do remember this so they have reversible sports bras which is kind of like a two-in-one situation they're not padded which makes me really sad I thought that they were but you could wear it where it's like this blue or you could flip it inside out and it's this pretty pink color I'm gonna have to do this pretty quickly because my battery is for sure dying I also went ahead and got the pink leggings to match that outfit right there so there is like two whole outfits you can wear with the blue top and the pink or you can just wear pink and pink and then the very last item I got if I'm remembering correctly I think this is also reversible there's so much plastic all over my floor right now okay I totally lied this is not reversible so this is the all day I think it's like all day or every day bra it is my favorite sports bra of all time I have it in black and I have it in white and I saw that they had it in this really pretty pink color And so I wanted to go ahead It's kind of like a peach almost and I wanted to go ahead and get it in this one, too You can like cross the straps You can pretty much do whatever you want and this is like an everyday bra It is so comfortable. It is by far the most comfortable sports bra I've ever owned But um, now I'm gonna go clean up this mess and then we're gonna go ahead to Buffalo Exchange I just got back in the car from trying to sell some of my clothes. I just had a really weird experience I'll talk about in just a second, but my video is premiering so whenever a video premieres I literally stop everything I get on it um, I'm responding to comments I'm in the little premiere live chat which is so much fun so I'm gonna give some shout outs from this premiere right here so shout out to it's Paris Leah Cindy let's see we have Sean <laughs> Sean Wilson said as usual Courtney you're like a kid in a candy store ha 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 such a cute smile thank you so much we have my kitchen table we have Katie 
we have Maddie. What is going on? This makes me so happy. So yeah, I'm going to go respond to you guys. I don't know what today has to do. I do need to tell you about my weird experience, so I will get to that in a minute. Checking in with you guys. So right now it is 8.36. I had to go do a couple returns. Um, so I went to Target, and then, like I said, I did go and try to get my clothes sold. I brought like two big bag, like two big um, like storage units of clothes, and a lot of them were like brand new barely used, still had tags on it, and they literally took two things, and the two things that they took were from like Shein, that I paid like $10 for. There was like Misguided in there, Topshop, Urban, all of these different brands that were like so cute, and not used, and tags still on it, and they, the only thing they took were two things from Shein. So I was like, okay. And I actually think I got more money back than I originally paid for those items. So I don't know. It was like definitely weird, so I need to figure out what I wanna do with those clothes now. But I came back, I ate dinner, and I was sitting here because I had a couple brands message me while I was gone today and so I just wanted to follow up with them but I think I'm gonna end this video right here um do you guys find the whole emails and negotiation and management and all of that stuff when it comes to YouTube do you guys find that boring or do you guys want me to do more videos on it I will gladly do more videos on it I think it's really fascinating I'm such a businesswoman and I went to school for social media so all of this stuff for me is so fascinating but I don't know if it's interesting to you guys so let me know if you guys have any like specific questions about YouTube maybe I'll put them all together and I'll do another video all about that so with that being said I'm gonna end this video right here leave your comments down below I love you guys and I'll see you all later bye